All right, let's talk plant classification. So plants can be classified on how they reproduce or how they produce other plants. So you have this one and then this was on the bottom, so I just cut it off. You're going to need scissors and glue for this. It doesn't have to be perfect, just cut it out. All right, so we have four different kinds of ex four different examples. We have ferns and conifers. We have flowers and mosses. I'm sure you've ha heard of many of those names. So we have plants that make seeds and plants that make spores. Spores meaning something that's kind of like a seed, but um, smaller. They are spread differently and they grow differently as well. So plants that make seeds we're gonna make sure we have these two first. Okay plants that make seeds and plants that make spores. We're going to glue this in. Okay. So plants that make seeds are flowers, like we've talked about in the past, and conifers. Now a conifer is like an evergreen tree. Okay, like a Christmas tree. Do you know that pine cones are big seeds? Pine cones are big seeds. So a conifer and a flower make seeds. The other ones that make spores Our ferns and make sure you're gluing mosses. Okay, mosses are the things that grow on other plants. We have Spanish moss in Florida, it's the ones that hang from the trees, they're gray. All right, now that we have those in here, let's talk about the differences. So, ferns and mosses have spores. Spores are created by the plant itself. It doesn't need another plant to pollinate it. So they just, ferns and mosses just create their own spores and they can spread like regular seeds. Seeds, they have to be um, pollinated, just like when we talked about in the parts of the flower. They have to be pollinated in order to have the seed grow. So those are the main differences, how they reproduce.